because that's what the coach wants this morning. One and three quarters cups of carbs total. So I did uh, three quarters cups of the oats, and then that'll be a cup of the sweet potato. Another 12 ounces of egg whites. And we're ready to get this down on the roll, man. And honestly, I normally eat this plain, and it's, it's not bad. You, you saw me splash a little bit of almond milk in there. Um, it's real low calorie almond milk, but it has like a, a slight amount of vanilla to it, so it gives it a little bit of flavor. Honestly, I just taste the cinnamon. I just taste the cinnamon. But I don't taste it. I don't, I don't know why I have pumpkin pie spice seasoning. I have no idea. Dude, but speaking of the things I have and I don't have in my cupboard, we're going to hit the grocery store real quick after this and then head to the gym. I got a monster back and leg session for you guys today or to take you guys through because I'm going to be the one suffering. But some good exercises in there. Overall, it's just, I mean, these workouts are just, they're huge right now. That's the, the style my coach likes. And honestly, I'm in the gym for a while, longer than I would normally be, but I like it, man. I'm, I'm getting the nutrition and I'm getting the rest in. So I kind of like seeing how far I can push myself each day, you know? So now the cut is starting to uh, go into effect, which means my carbs are down as I kind of predicted. And uh, obviously cardio conditioning type workouts are starting to do more of them throughout the week. But specifically with the, with the carbs being low, it's kind of nice because I can just do those like instant packets of rice every now and then um, since I'm only eating, you know, maybe one of those a day, the sweet potato oats in the morning like you guys saw. Um, so that, that gets a little easier to prep because there's not so much volume of carbs to cook day after day. So today, or today's trip here at the grocery store, I'm gonna try to get a good amount of protein and some vegetables. And I'll, I'll show you guys like what oils I like to use for cooking. Um, I don't know if you saw it, but I'll pick it up here. Another one I used the, this like spray. Uh, avocado oil which I've really been liking but this is it man beautiful iron <laughs> nice hair man oh I love it let's go I love the, the pre-ground chicken breast they don't have anything bigger than the 937 for turkey I just want the 99% of the chicken breast. And these are great right here, so most of the vegetables I've been sticking with are just either peas. I really just between the peas and, and the broccoli. And both of them are really easy to cook. Throw a little water on them, put them in a bowl, throw them in the microwave in like three or four minutes. Grown from the volcanic soil of central Mexico. That's how you know it's good. This avocado oil is a really good amount of saturated fat. I don't even track this since it's the spray. Four ninety-nine. One ninety-nine. is go head back drop the groceries off and hit the gym now this pre-workout is also from EHP labs but it hasn't released yet and I don't think I can release the details yet so for now all I'm gonna let you know is that it's a blue slushy flavor been using it for a couple weeks and it's pretty good. Um, I'd honestly compare it to the RP Max. You guys have seen me take that for a while, which I am currently out of. 
feel like this man solid amount of energy, not enough from like tweaking out. Good amount of focus, or at least I feel like it gives me some focus and I don't crash during my workout or after my workout. First exercise, these pull-ups, just body weight, four sets of 20. I could use the assisted machine uh, to knock out you know, 20 reps each time real clean, but I'd rather push myself a little bit. So first set, I got the 20 clean. Second set, I went 15 and five. Third set, I went 12, five, and three, right? So I just took like five, 10 seconds just to collect myself because you know I couldn't complete the, the 20 and then uh, this last one, same thing, no matter how many, how many mini sets it takes me to get to 20, to get to 20. Going 60 pounds is pretty light for me. Um, but like relatively, obviously I could push more. This one's a little different. My favorite one's being used right now, so it's that's a little harder to control. But you don't feel as comfortable with the machine, so you want to find a machine you're comfortable with for sure. But uh, at least I like to. This good enough, so just going a little bit lighter. Trying to pause mentally for a half second, quarter of a second at the top of the rep, just to control it. And then it's still controlling the weight down. It might look like I'm going fast. There's still tension on my quads. I still feel the weight coming down. You know, I'm in control of it. I'm not just letting grab it. So we got higher reps for that. 15, a few sets of 12. And then uh, we're on to the next thing. But that's just one set. So. Pull-ups, four sets of 15, it doesn't stop. There's a little bit of a theme to this workout. If you haven't noticed yet, you'll pick up on it too. Front squats, so we got the bar set up. I'm gonna start with, just with the barbell, just to get the motion down. Super set up with some standing easy bar curls. Four sets, 12 reps on the front squat, 10 reps on the barbell curl. And then probably rest like about three minutes in between. I'm gonna definitely need some rest. Uh, well, you're gonna see, I'll be gassed, but I'll show you this little trick I like to do to get the, uh, get the feeling of the, of the front squat.
Back to the pull up bar. Now 12 reps. So we started with 20, four sets of 20, went to four sets of 15, and now four sets of 12. Same intensity, same mentality. If I can't get a full 12, stop, collect myself five, 10 seconds, back up on the bar. Switching it up this time with pull-ups, believe it or not. So, uh, four sets, ten reps. I should be able to get them all, but if I don't, I just gotta set, stop, reset, finish the set, uh, and then uh, I think we'll finish it with some lunges, a few more curls for the biceps, and then a couple leg curls for the hamstring, and that'll be it. And it's the, how long have we been here, Ken? And we're not even taking extra time because we're filming today. It's just, uh, these are the nature of the workouts. When did we get in here? Do you know? It's 12.20 now, like 10. Yeah. Yeah, honestly, these sessions, I mean, I'm not taking extra breaks. I'm watching my rest times. If anything, I'm going a little too fast at times. Well, I, I just see it as I'm pushing myself, so I really don't look at it that way. But yeah, for the, honestly, they take the greater part of like two and a half hours. Obviously, my nutrition is there. My rest is as there as it can be. Um, so it's, I'm not telling you, okay, to, in order to, you know, gain size when you're trying to bulk, you gotta train for three hours, it's just, it's not true, it's just a method, um, but right now I feel like it's working for me, and, uh, I like the mental, mental side of it, it's, you know, some of these sessions are really, not a, I mean, I, I love training, so I never come in, I'm like, oh, no, I gotta do this, but, it tests you, you know, you really see, all right, how hard can I push, you know? step slightly off of center so I have balance so that way I'm not you know I don't want my feet to be in line you know 
I want to split my stance just a little bit. And really, man, every step, flexing my, flexing my calf, flexing my quad, keeping my core tight. Um, that way I'm not, you know, just kind of leaning forward and, and overexerting, you know, those erector muscles in the back and everything. So I've had issues with that in the past because I wasn't mentally locked into the movements I was doing. And I was just going too heavy with squats and deadlifts. But, uh, you know, even on something like a bodyweight lunge, that's important, at least for me, I feel it a lot better when I do it correctly, kind of break down every step in my head. That was a great session. Uh, um, that's really like the intensity I try to train at. Every once in a while, I think a little bit of that intensity is lost. Just because we're filming, you know, we're, we're trying to get you guys some good shots, make the workout a little bit more interesting so you can enjoy the video. Um, but number one, you know, above uh, shots, video composition, whatever you want to call it, man, like I'm trying to show you guys you know, this, this is what it's about. It's, it's every day, or at least six days a week. Even on a rest day, I'll be doing some cardio. Um, and it's coming in, locking in, getting in a, a good mental zone. Um, you know, trying to block out everything else in your head and getting the job, not just done, but done as effectively as you can. You know, giving, giving it everything, every session. And uh, I don't know, I love it, man. I love the process of that. Like the results are great. It's cool to be working towards a show right now. When you guys are watching this, I'll be, I think, close to nine weeks out. Uh, but I guess it's, it's about 10 weeks out right now from the show. So I'm starting to now transition uh, into the cut. So if you notice, the workout's a little bit more supersets. Uh, my cardio is a little bit more. So every night I'm doing, or like five or six nights a week, I'm doing 30 minutes of cardio with a little bit of abs thrown in there. And uh, the diet, like I mentioned at the grocery store, starting to cut back on the carbs just a little bit. I'm sorry, but yeah, good luck. Have a good day. Mm -hmm. Man, that, that was the sweetest thing. She, there's a little bank right here. She rolled down her window. She rolled down her window. She was like, is that bank closed? She's just the cutest old lady, man. It was funny. Um, but yeah, any, anyway, that, that's where I'm at with the prep and, and uh, trying to bring you guys, you know, how I'm, how I'm training every day. But for now, man, it's time to get some food, big time. Got a lot of meals to eat today. Man, that's a, that's a solid session. What do I know? I'm just married.